Tawanda Buyanga, any similarity or differences? Any similarity or differences? Mm -hmm. That's also all parts of my names. Did you change your names? No, I made an addition to my name. And uh, that was done in 2009. And that was a, that was a legal act. It was done through my legal attorneys in Zimbabwe. It was gazetted for two weeks in the newspaper. No one made a single, you know, no one brought it up. No one said there was a problem with it. And then all of a sudden now I'm, I'm hearing that it was apparently, obviously it's been, it's been put in, it's been, you know, it's been miraged as if, you know, I did this to cover up some crime. I should, again, point out that if I was really trying to run away from being identified, I would have changed my name completely. Why would I have just simply added Sneaky to my name? Reports say that you have over 350 cases in court and properties with 60 million that are in your books. And how do you see yourself getting back these properties? Well, I'll get them back. Everyone else can't wait because, you know, all those people that are making complaints against me, one, they have no money. Two, they, 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 obviously because they've either borrowed money or whatever they've done before, you know, they, they're going to want to do something. Look, this thing is going to, they, they're going to have to give in at some stage because there's no way that, that they can continue the way they've been going. Frank, you've constantly broken ranks with your lawyers. In one case, for Ramta Mwangira, who is the chairman at Wange Colliery and a top government lawyer, and after that, Manasseh, we have heard reports that you're stubborn and don't take advice. <laughs> um, I can change lawyers as many times as I want. Um, in the case of the gentleman you mentioned first, he's, 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 um, he's a man I know. I've, I've got no problems with him. Actually, both of them have no problems with him. But um, sometimes I feel that I'm not getting the proper uh, legal advice. Not, not, not to say that, that that's what happened in that case, but um, sometimes I feel these issues are better doubted by myself. And uh, at this stage, um, I've got my own legal team, which uh, I train. There's a guy I interviewed in Zimbabwe and he told us that he's got money to pay back. He doesn't oh, know what no to pay. Oh, no one's got any money. Um, I applied for a loan from Hamilton Properties for $7,000. I give them my title deeds as collateral for that loan. I failed to pay back the loan in time. We have managed to raise the money that, <coughs> that they said they sold the house for. And he wants no his one's house got back. Any, he no, wants his no, title no. Did you see the money?